Greetings, First English family and friends. Welcome to Tuesday, January, what is it, 19th, 20, 19, 2021. So there we go, January 19, 2021. And miracle of miracles, there is a bright yellow circle in the sky. Uh, and the sky is not gray. It's actually bluish out there. So it's a strange sight to see, uh, but a welcome one. Yes. So I don't know what the temperature is. Probably pretty cold if it was a clear night last night. So uh, bundle up if you go out. Uh, check in time. How are you all doing? Hope and pray that you are safe and healthy and well. Post a comment or a question below if you have one. I do have my coffee here. So cheers, church. Ah, uh, good stuff. Right. Nice uh, warm cup of coffee on a cool, clear morning. Good. So our devotion today comes from Christ in Our Home. It's written by Pastor Shelley Cunningham, who serves as pastor at Zumboro Lutheran Church in Rochester, Minnesota, and as manager of Portico Benefits Services team of regional representatives. And as she said, she I think I read this yesterday, she somehow... Her three children are all young adults already. And yes, we know how that goes. Um, as our son gets older and older, but we amazingly do not. I don't know why, how that happens, but that's okay. So our, our scripture reading for today is uh, Psalm 86. Psalm 86. This is Supplication for Help Against Enemies, is what the title says in my Bible here, A Prayer of David. Incline your ear, O Lord, and answer me, for I am poor and needy. Preserve my life, for I am devoted to you. Save your servant who trusts in you. You are my God. Be gracious to me, O Lord, for to you do I crawl, cry all day long. Gladden the soul of your servant, for to you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. For you, O Lord, are good and forgiving, abounding in steadfast love to all who call on you. Give ear, O Lord, to my prayer. Listen to my cry of supplication. In the day of my trouble, I call on you, for you will answer me. There is none like you among other gods, O Lord, nor are there any works like yours. All the nations you have made shall come and bow down before you, O Lord, and shall glorify your name. For you are great and do wonderful things. You alone are God. Teach me your way, O Lord, that I may walk in your truth. Give me an undivided heart to revere your name. I give thanks to you, O Lord my God, with my whole heart, and I will glorify your name forever. For great is your steadfast love toward me. You have delivered my soul from the depths of Sheol. O God, the insolent rise up against me. A band of ruffians seeks my life, and they do not set you before them. But you, O Lord, are gracious, are a God, I'm sorry, but you, O Lord, are a God merciful and gracious, slow to anger, and abounding in steadfast love and faithfulness. Turn to me and be gracious to me. Give your, give your strength to your servant. Save the child of your serving girl. Show me a sign of your favor so that those who hate me may see it and be put to shame, because you, Lord, have helped me and comforted me. Hmm. Sounds like David's going through some rough stuff there as he writes that psalm. And our devotional is titled, Going the Distance, and the theme verse is verse 11. Teach me your way, O Lord, that I may walk in your truth. Not far from my house is a trail that goes along a river. I love it because the view changes with the seasons. In the winter, the trail is often icy and drifted over. As I trudge along, trudge along, bundled up against bitter Minnesota winds, I have to dig deep to keep moving forward. But on days when ice crystals sparkle in the morning sun, or I catch a glimpse of animal tracks, it seems the walk takes no time at all. Psalm 86 is a reminder that we all have seasons when the going is easy, when we are joyful and lighthearted, and we have seasons when we are weighed down with grief or anxiety 
or fear. Life, the psalmist might say, is a marathon, not a sprint. So how can we find stamina to keep going no matter what season we find ourselves in? The psalmist prayer gives us a hint. Turn to God for protection when trouble is near. Lean on God when we are weary. Trust in God when we cannot see the way forward. And thank God for walking with us always. Good advice there, you know. We've been in this pandemic mode for uh, 10 months now, and it's, uh, it's tiring. And there's light at the end of the tunnel here with the vaccines coming, and that's, that's good news, but there's still a long tunnel to get through before we get to that light. And, and the vaccines are distributed uh, widely across the nation. And in the past year, we've seen the murders of our black and brown brothers and sisters and took part in protests against uh, systemic racism. Um, we're all still dealing with extremely divisive politics. Um, and maybe, maybe some of that stuff starts to go away tomorrow. We pray and hope, um, but it's tiring, exhausting. And all this stuff wears on us emotionally and physically and spiritually. We've been, how did she put it, uh, weighed down with grief and anxiety and fear. There may have been times when you wondered, oh, oh, how can I go on? Where do I find strength? And the words of the psalmist and Pastor Shelley help us here. Or uh, the theme verse today, teach me your way, O Lord, that I may walk in your truth. And then the last part of the devotion, turn to God for protection when trouble is near. Lean on God when you are weary. Trust in God when you cannot see the way forward. And thank God for walking with you always. Those are good things to remember on this day. So be of strong heart and good courage this day, dear church. Please be safe and healthy uh, and well. Uh, wash your hands, wear your mask, uh, practice physical distancing, and stay home as much as possible. We love our neighbor in these ways and share the light of Christ by following the, the teachings of Jesus and, and, and keeping each other healthy and safe. Let's pray. When the way is difficult, O God, keep us moving forward. We trust in your grace and strength. Amen. Blessings upon you. Peace.